Hey Bruce, say boss. Hey boss, how you, how's it going? And <laughs> I mean, I know you're not my real boss, but you know, you're doing the whole born to run thing and uh, the podcast. I figured, you know, since I'm in Red Bank, maybe I stop by and uh, you interview me on your podcast. <laughs> you you don't you don't want to you don't think I'm like you don't think that I qualify that like I don't have enough followers to like you know that people would tune in and listen in I, I mean I think you're wrong I think you're wrong sir uh, look look at this point you're just gonna be d dancing with yourself if uh, if you don't invite me onto your podcast uh, hey buddy oh best and change uh, no 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 get, get out of here shoo shoo sorry Bruce I mean I'm, I'm sure you're used to like all these all these uh, people on the street, uh, people on the street. That's that's not one of your songs, but it is a great song. I think you should cover that. I, I mean, have a good song. It's go to stay, go the hell away, and let me sleep. It goes like this: la la la, leave. Uh, I, I hear a voice, but I don't see anybody. But you know, it's one of your. It's not one of your songs, but I think you should cover it because you know that Eddie Vedder, uh, "Highway to Hell" song was. Uh, yeah, well, it was all right. Oh, hey, I told you, get. Get out of here. Huh. So, you know, is this gonna happen? Is this, uh, what? It, is it, come on. It, it's, it's gonna have to work out. You smell kinda nice. You ever been a body pillow before? It's kinda rocky down there. I could use a little bit of, you know. Man, Jersey has really, really changed <laughs> in the last few years. <laughs> uh, Forget about it. Oh my God. <laughs> uh, Hey, Bruce, uh, uh, help, a little help here? Uh, hey, is that Bruce Springsteen? I know Springsteen. Hey, hey, put him on, put him on, put him on uh, for me. Hey, Bruce, Bruce, you remember that one time in Asbury where you went and saw Ronnie down in the cellar? Well, he owes me money. Uh, so hey, Springsteen's a good dude, but that other guy... Uh, know, Bruce, can you call the cops, bed. please? I'm here located uh, in front of uh, get the Galleria. The Galleria. Um, Taxi change. Uh, no, 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 I'm calling the cops. The cops Taxi are coming change. right now. Bruce Springsteen is calling the cops. The cops. He's not calling the cops. Uh, hi, my name is Gabriel Manic, and I'm and I'm David Lewis. <laughs> my name is Ronnie by the sewer, or Ronnie Springsteen, Bruce Springsteen's cousin. And uh, Bruce, if you're watching this, I could use some money. That's right. I had. I need Me a too. lot of food. Yeah. Not you. This Bruce. is my show, and we are actors. And, actors. and we're, and we're starving. starving. Hungry. Starving. Food. Yeah. Pizza. There'll, there'll be food. There'll be pizza. What hot guy? dogs, guys. Hot We're dogs. doing hot, hot dogs. dogs. We're doing hot dogs. You made me come out here for a hot dog. Hot I can dogs. get that for life. All right. Okay. Well, well, guys, let's uh, let's line up. Let's do this thing. All right. It seems like it's bright enough. I think so. Okay. All right. We got. Mike Villastrigo. Yo. We got David Lewis over here. Howdy. Yeah, so these are my buddies. You, know, you guys obviously saw them. Actually, I don't know if you did because I don't know when I'm posting a certain video. I won't talk about it just in case I haven't released it yet. If he hasn't released it, my name's Ronnie from the sewer. Ronnie Springsteen. Bruce, you know where I am. That's right. Unless you don't, then I can go in along with the message. Can I? Okay. So that was a great intro. Thank you. So we got, we got hot dogs. I know we typically do the same thing, but you know, David's more of a mustard guy. I'm, he's more of a ketchup and mustard guy. So uh, I'm just going with ketchup. I think that's what we did. Dad, that's exactly what we did. Yeah. Bonus and bonus reviews. I'm from Brooklyn, all right? There we go. And we're doing bonus review on the French fries. So, bonus review. Uh, that looks pretty good, right? Right, real mm -hmm. tasty, they're big. Mm -hmm. And getting cold, long. Thick. All right, so guys, grab your hot Shrinkage. dogs. All right, let me get it. So, Thank you. You got it? Okay. So guest reviewers always do the first. So obviously, first bite is the one that counts when you're starving. I'm gonna move my dog down a little bit. I wanna get some bun in there. This is a, this is a big dog. It's a big dog. It is. Mm. Mm, all right. That's damn good. Yours is a little bigger than mine. Yours is a little thicker. Mine's... Yours got, has a little more girth. Mike's got the thick dog. Yeah. We're gonna take more than one bite. Yeah. Might as well, right? Better. Mm. They're deep fried. They hate mm. deep fried. They're delicious. I think I might get a second one. Me too. <clears throat> I wish I got a little more in it. This hot dog is so good. Yeah. 
but it deserves even more con uh, condiments. Well, I mean, you know, for review sake, I know we just put mustard on. I usually put, you know, mustard and uh, uh, sauerkraut on there because, you know, I grew up across the street from Nathan's in Brooklyn. And uh, I decided today I was just going to go for a little more of a raw dog kind of thing. All right. Not not too many toppings on it. I want to... I want to get the taste of the actual dog in my mouth. All right, you know, absolutely. The, the, yeah. I think I think that's right. I mean, because sometimes, I mean, really, when it comes down to it, a hot dog, you can't base it on the condiments. Sometimes, yeah. some, it depends where you go. But when you just you're like the hot dog's just wearing nothing. Mm -hmm. It's it's naked on, on its own in the bun. It's true. It just it tastes better. It feels better. Like the consistency is better in my mouth. Yeah, yeah. 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 Sometimes you put chili. You put beans. It's kind of like, our, like a like a plain pizza pizza. You want to taste how to pizza place, you gotta exactly, get a plain exactly. slice first. Mm, exactly. Yeah. So you know, you want to put it some. Want to see if the dog is really good. Maybe some ketchup. Maybe some mustard. Maybe both in my case. But. All right. Mm. Okay. So, who goes? Who wants to go first? Who's feeling? Who's feeling chatty? I feel a little chatty. Okay. All right. So, what do you think? Oh, oh, I remember. Zero to ten. Zero to ten. No whole numbers. Actual numbers. Actual uh, numbers. Well, we're reviewing dogs, right? Yes. Hot dogs. Re All right. So, from oh, a Great boy. Dane to a Chihuahua. <laughs> my favorite dog is a beagle, and I. Coming. My favorite dog is a beagle. I would rate this a foxhound, which are a, a what? Hold up. A foxhound, because beagles. Oh, oh, right. Hey, come on, the train. The train is uh, is late. All right. It's a chugging. So. We're reviewing dogs. So, from a Great Dane to a Chihuahua, I would rate this a Beagle, which is my favorite dog. All right. So, I would rate this, actually, when you equate that to numbers, I want to say, I'm not good with numbers. Yellow? That's a number, right? Oh my god, it happened again. <laughs> Michael. I, I would say eight, 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 I would say like, this is like a nine. I love this. A this nine. is why we got this out of the way first. And he still ch whole, it chose a whole number. Mm -hmm. But that's okay. All right, fine. <laughs> we'll, we'll, we'll go with the nine. At least it's a number. So nine, that's pretty good. That says a lot. Nine mm -hmm. is a number. Yeah, it is. Yeah. So what, what, uh, what do you think, Dave? Well, really, it should be cool. You know, like I said, I, I grew up in Brooklyn. Um, Nathan's was always our go-to. Uh, moving out to Jersey, we did discover windmill. Um, and I love the windmill, the, the size, the, the flavor, the crunch, the crunch on the outside of the dog really, it reminds me of that old school Nathan's, you know, from Coney Island hot yeah, dog. Very crunchy. Juicy on the inside. Uh, the bun is a little more toasted for for my personal choice. I, I like I like a little less toasted on my mm. buns. Yeah. But, um, I like my bun's very toasted. But, but the, the dog itself is, is, is good. It's a little more on the well side. Uh, it's juicy, it's crunchy, it's crispy. Mm. I'm gonna give it a I'm gonna give it an eight two. Wow. Eight two. Okay. I'm give it an eight two. Wow. My numbers. Not bad. Um <clears throat> well I do agree with you on the bun. It is on the toasted side. I don't know if it, but I, I think for me. I think yeah, it's, it's it's a little on the well done side, the the hot dog, which still tastes tastes good, which still tastes tastes good, still tastes tastes good, but it because of that it made the sodium come out that much more, which made it a bit salty. The sodium, listen to you, Mr. Scientist. <laughs> yeah, I know. I uh, failed biology once. Now he's a scientist. I'm a scientist because mm. I read a book. So, I do like the crunchy factor though. If it wasn't as salty, but just the crunch, the crunch is fantastic. Like I said, I usually, you guys know, I usually put ketchup and mayo. They didn't have mayo, but that's okay, you know? You adapt in life. So, it, let's see, Windmill in Red Bank, New Jersey. Um, I'm gonna go with a 7-9. Oh. I'm gonna go with a 7-9. Seven, 7-9. Nine. Seven, nine. It Not might bad. be just because there's no mayo, and the key to my heart is mayo. Come on, guys. Nothing like some mayo on a nice raw dog. After all this Absolutely. talk about condiments not making the dog, this guy dumps a review because of mayo. It's true. So, before they get super cold, we're going to do the french fries, and we're going to do this quick. So, if you want, you can either have I'm it... Gonna, I'm going to cleanse my palate, if you don't mind. So, you don't have to have it with the ketchup. I think it's always better just without the condiments first. And we'll give a nice quick review, just just uh, not review, just uh, the, the, just a score. A score? Well, right, I, I, I just want to point out that we got a mixture of fries in here. Some of them are a little right. more on the burnt side, and you know the mm, little should, undercooked. Should we, should, we, should we show it? Should, should we show the fries off? Yeah. There right, we go. 
Let's show those crinkle cut fries. Ooh. Good job, Beautiful. Mm. It's just getting dark. Mm. Okay, so grab the fries. I already had a bite. Mm. I certainly did not take a fry when you were not looking. Oh my god. I just I just want more. Oh. Okay. Okay. Right, delicious. Mm. So throw some ketchup on there. All right, the fries. Your mouth is not full. So we're gonna Ooh. review this. These fries. There's not there very many of them. All right, we're quite at empty. We're at nine minutes. Go ahead. They were very good. They were very fry-like. They made me full, and I couldn't stop eating them. I'm going to rate the fries a uh, seven point four. Seven four. Seven four. Well, got to bring up the Nathans again. Oh boy. I like a good fry with a, a, a nice hot dog like this, a little more potato-y. Mm -hmm. um, these just didn't cut it for me. Uh. No pun intended. <laughs> um, you know this guy. I don't know, I'm gonna have to go with a, a six one. Ooh, wow. Well, six one. Um, I think it needed some more fries, but that's my bad, because I just kind of did like a light thing. I did a little less than I normally like. So, um, but honestly cooked very well. Some of them were crunchy, some had like that nice soft factor, which I think is great. So, on these Jersey uh, cut fries, I'm gonna go with a, it's not Saturday night, but I'm gonna go with a 6-9. Hey, <laughs> it's a windmill kind of a night. Well, thank you. It's been beautiful. And uh, appreciate you guys for being here. Absolutely. And it's getting dark, so let's, let's go do something. Hey, let's go get some pizza. Okay. And remember, Bruce, if you're watching Ronnie from the sewer, he lives in Red downtown Red Bank underneath the Galleria next to the windmill. You don't have to get a hot dog unless you want to bring me a hot dog. I ain't got no money. I don't know these clowns. I'm just doing this so they can give me a free hot dog. Thank you very much. I love you. Please send me money. The cops are coming. I got to run.